What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and I am 100% sure that you guys are or were confused somewhere in your Battlefield 2042 journey about suppressors and how they actually work. I mean looking at people speaking about them in the comment section or even in game a lot of them literally have no idea how these things will affect the performance of their weapons and the reason for that is simply because the in-game stats for Battlefield 2042 just suck. It just spreads more misinformation. Also, websites like Sim.gg are not up to date nowadays, and people don't usually know where else to get this information from. Well, that's not the case anymore because today we're going to go through all types of suppressors and see exactly how they affect the performance of weapons, their pros and cons, and literally all you need to know. And I promise by the end of this video, you will be completely aware of your choices when it comes to suppressors in Battlefield 2042. I use a spreadsheet with dedicated stats for Battlefield 2042 and I made a video introducing that to you guys. It will pop up on the top right corner. Give it a look at this one. Hopefully you can now have a solid and legit stat system for 2042. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because 95% of my viewers are actually not subscribed. You are probably one of them watching this video and one effective way that you can give me something in return is actually by doing that. With all that said, let's get things started. So let's take a look at different types of suppressors in Battlefield 2042 and then go in detail for every single one of them. As you guys probably know, we've got two major types of suppressors in Battlefield 2042 being the light suppressors and heavy suppressors. Light suppressors are composed of wrapped suppressor and 6KU suppressor. Heavy suppressors on the other hand are type 4 heavy suppressor and PB heavy suppressor. Now there are some major features for these two categories that you need to be aware of. Suppressors in Battlefield 2042 actually work a bit differently and your visibility on the minimap depends on your distance from a specific enemy. Now that might seem complicated but it's actually pretty much simple. Let me explain. Light suppressors give you minimap stealth at plus 30 meters meaning that if an enemy is let's say 25 meters away from you and you're using a light suppressor they can still see you when you shoot whereas when an enemy is let's say 32 meters away from you you can actually be invisible when you shoot now here's when subsonic ammo comes into play and one of its positive effects is actually improving minimap stealth now what that means is if you use subsonic ammo with a light suppressor you will have minimap stealth at plus 15 meters instead of plus 30 meters so that stealth radius actually gets bigger now let's see how heavy suppressors work well there's a reason why they're called heavy suppressors right they're just better at making you invisible on the minimap heavy suppressors give you minimap stealth at plus 15 meters simply meaning if someone is let's say 14 meters away from you and you start shooting using a heavy suppressor they can still see you on the minimap whereas if the enemy is 16 meters away from you they wouldn't be able to see you anymore now when you use heavy suppressors with subsonic ammo the distance from your enemy penalty goes completely out of the equation and you will be completely invisible in any given range from those enemies i hope that makes sense because i tried to explain this as simple as possible if you haven't gotten this yet just rewatch this part with a little bit more focus and i'm pretty sure you'll be good to go now let's take a look at these four suppressors individually to see their specific stats and capabilities. I'd like to start with Wrapped Suppressor, which is my favorite one. I like this because Wrapped Suppressor actually does nothing to damage BTK and TTK, meaning that if you don't even use a suppressor, your damage TTK and BTK will be the same and that's the biggest advantage of Wrapped Suppressor. And you just can't find that in the other three because they all decrease those numbers to a degree. Now what's the downside of Wrapped Suppressor? It simply decreases your muzzle velocity, which is the speed of those bullets in the moment they get shot out of the barrel. And I feel, as far as I'm concerned, that speed will stay the same regardless of range, so you can interpret muzzle velocity in battlefield to bullet speed. If you don't have an issue with having a lower muzzle velocity, but you want to deal the maximum damage possible with a weapon, the wrapped suppressor is your way to go. 6KU suppressor is the other light suppressor. What's good about this one is that it won't be affecting that muzzle velocity, and it just stays the same. So if you want to hit those moving targets relatively easier, 6KU is the way to go. But the downside to 6KU is actually multiplying those damage numbers by 0.92 times, which simply means that it will decrease the damage output. In this scenario, we're looking at the stats for K30 because it's got all the types of suppressors. As you can see, the number 18, which represents damage, is decreased to 16.56. I did the math and the answer was just the same. These stats are legit, as I said before. 
and that's exactly what 6KU does to damage to leave that muzzle velocity intact. Now let's move on to heavy suppressors. See, heavy suppressors actually decrease both damage and muzzle velocity. Like, there's no doubt about that. However, the damage multiplier for those two and how bad they actually decrease the muzzle velocity is what matters. So let's find out. Starting off with Type 4 Heavy Suppressor, it's a popular one among those heavy suppressor lovers, and the reason for that lies in damage multiplier, which is even higher than the 6KU, which is a light suppressor, being 0.95 times. Going back to our test subject, the K30, as you can see, pure damage for K30 is 18, with 6KU it's 16.56, and with Type 4 it's 17.1, meaning that Type 4 simply deals more damage than 6KU. That's why people love it, because the damage multiplier is close to 1. However, it decreases muzzle velocity more than any other suppressor in the game, and that's the downside to it. Other than that, the damage multiplier really makes it stand out in the competition. And lastly, the PB Heavy Suppressor. PB actually decreases muzzle velocity as much as Wrapped Suppressor, but the undeniable downside to this one is the damage multiplier, which is 0.9 times, being the lowest among all the suppressors. So PB is actually that one suppressor that decreases damage the most. And personally, I see no reason to use it in any given situation. If you want more stealth, Type 4 is perfect. Why lose all the damage? For some more muzzle velocity? Really doesn't make sense. With all that said, let's review everything we've gone through one more time i made a table here so we can see everything in one place you can pause the video or take a screenshot to have this forever i'm pretty sure it will really come in handy so wrap suppressor has no effect on damage meaning the damage multiplier is one but it moderately reduces muzzle velocity 6ku suppressor has a damage multiplier of 0.92 times but it has no effect on muzzle velocity type 4 heavy suppressor has a damage multiplier of 0.95 times but it highly reduces muzzle velocity and lastly pb heavy suppressor has a damage multiplier of 0.9 times which is the lowest among all with a moderate effect on muzzle velocity so here we have it guys the best suppressor guide for battlefield 2042 that you can possibly get i covered almost everything here leaving no question marks i hope this guide will put an end to the suppressor drama of battlefield 2042 and helps you guys choose the one that fits you best Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. And until next time, guys, stay cool.